What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today we may have gotten a sneak peek of some of the camos that we'll see in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which is pretty exciting. So, uh, there's this company called Cryptek that produces ultra high performance technical and tactical outdoor adventure apparel. That's what they say on their site. And they've announced that their patterns will be featured in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And when you go to their website, you can see they have nine different kind of like, you know, camos or color combinations, designs, whatever you want to call it, that they have on there with short description. They also have this picture right here that has like a bunch of different soldier silhouettes wearing each of those nine camos. So I wanted to go through these things. These are obviously going to be somehow in the game. I don't know if they're going to look exactly like this. You know, what we're working with. I don't know if all of them are going to make it or only a few are. You know, what's going to happen. But it has been confirmed that their designs will be in the game. So this is kind of a look into what we may see in the multiplayer for Advanced Warfare. So uh, first up, the first camel we have here is Mandrake. Only the strong survive beneath the canopy where the shadows deepen and the surroundings are dense. Cryptic Mandrake is designed for those regions where success or survival depends on your ability to become one with your domain. Next up, we've got Raid. Created for those situations when the quarters are close and the jungle is urban, Cryptic Raid is a camo for finding that prey that lurks in the shadows of the streets. Next up, we've got Highlander, which says it's specially designed for those geographical regions and elevations that are varied. Cryptic Highlander increases stealth when pursuing a wide range of quarry in mixed terrain. Next up, we've got Altitude. Your prey takes form as a mist-shrouded shape on a distant ridge. Above the tree line where the air is thin, the cover is sparse. You need a camouflage that allows you to close the gap and retake the high ground. Next up, we've got Nomad. A theater of operations that is harsh and desolate requires deception of a certain type. Cryptic Nomad serves when the surroundings are barren and the environment is hostile. Next up, we've got Banshee. It says, a touch of frost has heightened your awareness and your heart steadily beats in anticipation. Your senses are suddenly alert to the movement on the forest floor and you realize that the moment of harvest is at hand. Strike with the confidence of a predator at one with their surroundings. The next one here is really, really cool. This is one of my favorites. Typhon, or Ty, it's not Typhoon, I, I guess Typhon. Darkness is the ally of the predator that prowls at night. Cryptek Typhon serves for those that operate where others will not venture. That's really, really cool. I like that one. And the Neptune here is pretty cool as well. A predator lurks just below the surface. He's a shadowy figure gliding silently through the depths or perhaps a hidden entity patiently waiting in vigil on the ocean floor. His advantage is stealth and his attacks are sudden. He is the ruler of his domain. That one's pretty cool. Next up, we've got Yeti. This is the second to last one. A Yeti is when conditions worsen and the temperatures fall, when days are short and the shadows are long. Crypt Tech Yeti provides some concealment when cover is only found in subtle creases of the snowpack. And then finally, last but not least, we've got a very, very blue one here in Pontus, a color palette created for those individuals with an obsession that is manifested by chasing rainbows in Montana or wrestling Marlin off the coast of Baja. So, uh, yeah, there you guys have it. Those are the kind of designs that this Cryptek company produces, and they've been confirmed that they will be featuring those designs in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare in some way, shape, or form. It makes me think that these will probably be some sort of, you know, like character suit customization, especially by that image that's up on top with the six different soldiers. But, uh, I don't know, we could also see these on some weapons. We could see it on equipment. We could see it on, you know, vehicles. We're not sure. We'll have to wait and see what happens but uh you know somehow these are going to be involved in the game this video was kind of cool to uh, to check that out so yeah let me know which one you guys think is the best was it mandrake raid highlander altitude nomad banshee typhon neptune yeti or pontus let me know which one you liked and why and uh, and yeah i will catch you guys later as more information about this game comes out i'll be sure to cover it for you guys got a bunch of great videos coming soon make sure you guys keep checking back check out we are to be screw soon yet peace out guys